Oh, good morning. I'm gonna meet up with uh, Greg. Uh, he got permission to go on this property that's by another one we've been going to for a while. Uh, the only thing I'm thing I'm afraid of, I don't know if it's if it was much of a high traffic area where people would have lost coins, but maybe. It was an area where they used to do some cattle. I guess they had cattle, and then they, the guy had chopped down a bunch of trees in the area. So, but besides that, I don't know if anybody else is hanging around losing stuff. So, anyway, we got permission to go on the guy's property. So, we'll see. Be nice if there was something there. Well, we have permission to be on this property, I guess. This is the place they used to have cattle and I don't know what else, but anyway. <laughs> the guy will probably come up pretty soon and tell us the story. Kind of piece of metal, but I don't know if it's just trash or something good. Turns out it was a lock under there. Hmm, that's weird. <laughs> Looks yeah. like it could be old. Yeah. Corbin brand. As some kind of pipe. That'd be like for a post or something. Or, I don't know. Anyway, it's, it's iron. Okay, I see a coin, finally. Now what is it? I'm hoping it's a silver quarter, but it looks like I see copper on the side. Three and a half inches down. I still have been able to see the date, but like I say, I think it's a, a clad type. Yeah. yeah, it's just 2002. Oh well, I found a quarter. <laughs> what is it? Is it a dime? Oh yeah, it's a rosy. Uh. Okay, got a rosy. <laughs> okay, I got an 82 rosy. Greg, yeah. Yeah. so the ground is rock hard. I mean, we're, we're getting these signals, but they're really deep and it's really hard to dig. So I found an old horseshoe. I left it on the, uh, you know, right by your truck. There's a, there's a garden hose reel. Okay. I left it right yeah. on top of that. And then maybe in okay. the, maybe in the winter, you know, after it's rained yeah. and, the, and the ground's a little soft. Yeah. So, and then do you know anything about your neighbor to the right or to the left? 
in that old house. I know him, yeah, I know anybody. So yeah, so I found a dime, a Rosie, and a newer quarter. And what'd you find, a Zink and Lincoln? Lincoln? Okay, and he found a horseshoe, an old horseshoe, I guess. And that was it. He gave it to the owner, and I just found a lock. The lock's not old. Uh, you know, it's a brand that I don't think is that old. But no. I'm not a lock expert. Me either. <laughs> I'm not an expert much of anything, actually. Yeah, I know. That's what I was going to say. I just find stuff, you know. Could be from the 80s, could be from the 70s, could be from the 90s, but yeah. you know. Randy so. does a lot of research, and he's, Steve does. Yeah, he's the, uh, I think I think he's our walking yeah. encyclopedia is Randy. That's why, like, when I join all these clubs, gold clubs, yeah. and they want you to go to the meetings, I'll go to maybe one or two. Then all I want to do is just go to the claims. You know, I want to be out there. I don't that's want to be me. sitting there, that you know, talking and all that. So. I can't. Well, that's <laughs> okay. We just got permission to do a little bit on this old adobe. It's a pretty small lot here. So it, uh, got two German shepherds. He's trying to keep them at bay. Oh, maybe you got a coin spill. <laughs> hey, I got the famous pull tab. <laughs> Circa 1988. <laughs> Videos of these. For some reason people like to watch old guys getting sweaty digging in the dirt. <laughs> I don't know why. Four H's. See it? it says something. Is four it H's. Four, it looks four like. H, a four H club, huh? Yeah. Does these be kids that lived here? Yeah, so this house was actually 1930. Pull tab. <laughs> and somebody wrote a book about it called The House Under the Trees. Yeah, he said it was a 38 Buick. 38 Buick. Okay. Uh, Greg gave the lady that lives here the 4H pen. I guess all this area over here, they just had dug up this soil, turned it all over. It, uh, putting in a septic tank. So, could be the good stuff like <laughs> 10 feet under the ground now. At least right around in there. Ah, that's okay. Our memorial. It's a memorial. Okay. So, let's see what here it is. It's like 1980 memorial. Okay. Yeah, 80. I'll take it. <laughs> you can't say that term. Oh, I'll take it? Yeah. I'm tired of hearing that. Don't say it. <laughs> well, I would like that. <laughs> Every video, everybody has, I'll take it. Yeah. Sure, you're going to take it. What else are you going to do with it? <laughs> I'm just being sarcastic. And it looks like probably a Zink and Lincoln. Yeah, I see the memorial on the back and it has that corroded look, falling apart look. Yep. We're at another place. It looks like it's just like an abandoned house. So anyway, check it out. And I ran into a beehive that got me on the forehead and they were all over me. <laughs> so, I think I think I actually only got stung once or maybe twice, but they were following me all the way out here to the car almost. They knocked my hat off. Greg went down and he found it. So he's gonna go a little bit more. But usually if there's a bee within a hundred miles, he'll come after me. My theory is when I was young, I used to have to paint this guy's beehives while the bees are still in them. So I'd put on the suit and all that, and I had the smoker. That's supposed to calm them down. Believe me, it doesn't. 
And okay, so I'd work a few hours, then I'd go to lunch. I'd you know run run, get my car, roll up all the windows, take off the hood. As soon as I take off the the beekeeper's hood thing, bzzz, there's always one hiding somewhere to get me every time. So ever since I painted those beehives, he's always been after me. I must have spread the word. I'm a bad guy. Hmm. See, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well,